And this is Kadu's game. You're still here, right, Kadu? Awesome. Uh, I just want to make sure you're still here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so Kadu is grinding up the Drake. And guys, this what? is what we this is what we do when it comes to replay analysis. We talk about replays, we take a look at what's what's out there, all that good stuff. Preparing to mock. Oh god. Um Putin, are you still here? Yes. All right. Kitten had to leave, so if you're able to handle the rest of the giveaways for today, that'd be great. We still have, what, two more Kong containers to get rid of? Spoiler. This replay includes a death pick. Nice. And you might be able to get a death pick with a destroyer dying in the background. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All right. Sounds good. Um... Yeah, so we need to get rid of our Godzilla Kong containers, and then we'll do the Panda Monk based off of off of kills in our boss battle. That's how we'll do that. I think we have enough time to get through, um, get to that boss battle. Look at your Shokaku. That's a great position to be in in a Shokaku. <laughs> Note the sarcasm, guys. Please don't take your Shokaku there. Especially in the beginning oh, of the game. Man. Raining says this replay is deadliest approved. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna send the build on the commander. The Discord. Okay. Now, the Drake, I personally hated the Drake. Hated grinding up the Drake. It was one of my least favorite ships to grind. Hey, Soren, happy Memorial Day weekend to you, too. Um, For me, it actually was not that bad. I mean, Obamaro was worse, but Drake is a bit better. Hmm. So, yeah. I actually preferred the Albemarle. I don't know. For me, I think oh, it maybe man. was the rate of fire to it. I mean,. The Drake's got the super heal, but yep. I, I just felt like the, the the rate of fire is just so low. Um, I think she's the got... fire chance in the Drake is is good. I like that. So. Mm. What is that CV doing? That CV is surviving after a big mistake early on. Maybe it was a let's call it a navigational error, right? <laughs> You hated grinding the donkey twice. Now you kind of like it. It's one of the nice things about when you do the research uh, bureau thing and regrind a ship line. You start to, you start to appreciate some of the ships that uh, you you didn't like before. Okay. I see Kadu's build. I thought that was cap you had on it. Okay. You did not. You did not take priority target? Assume that everything is shooting at you and you're fine. <laughs> well, that's true. Like, that jump uh, arc. It can work, but um, now I know that you can also know what's not shooting at you with priority target. So, yeah, it might be worth it. It's also helpful for knowing when torpedoes might be coming your way. Kitakaze speed juked you there. So yeah, priority target's a good idea. You are running the lighthouse build. You've got the HE extra damage. Yeah, that was on the very end of my grind. Like, okay. last five battles, I think. So... I don't know if I had it on that replay specifically. Okay. It doesn't look like a lighthouse build. It's just 12 kilometers concealment. Okay, so he just got it after this replay then. Okay. Everything else makes sense, except, like I said, the priority target. You took demolition, or pyrotechnician, or whatever. Which is okay, if you're just going to spam HE all the time, I guess. Mm -hmm. Nice dodge. Wow. I dodged? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible dodge at like yeah. six FPS. <laughs> See, glory guts. I never actually take um, I never take priority target on destroyers unless I'm playing a gunboat destroyer like the Kiev or something. I never take priority target because, like Kadu said, I assume if I'm in a destroyer, if I'm detected, everyone wants me dead. Uh-huh. I'd recommend IFA over PT and destroyers. Mm-hmm. IFA beating incoming fire alert, so the thing flashes and tells you that people are shooting at you. Which is helpful. Oh, look, your carrier wants to die again. I think he died on one of those turns he took. So, yeah. <sighs> or like we thought a carrier in the middle of the game yeah dead in seven minutes ouch <laughs> you take priority target on everything if you don't you just assume nothing is shooting at you that's one of the problems when you get used to priority target and then you forget that you're in a ship that does not have it uh yeah i've had that happen to me many times Time Warp says, to be fair, we do like it when a carrier dies fast. If it's on the enemy team, yes. Hey, Mini Hannibal, I'm doing fine, thanks. How about you? Oh, I needed to... I'm sorry, I needed to shout out uh, a couple people. Oh, thank you, Puddin. Uh, Puddin, if you get a chance, can you also shout out um, Charade? I forgot to shout uh, her out. And I don't remember if we shouted out Carline, Car Carbine Carlito. Yeah, I got the raid. Okay, thank you. But, uh, who? Sure, uh, Charade. C H A R A D E. That's how you pronounce it? Uh, she's a British streamer, if I remember correctly. Uh, two battleships appear on your broadside. Great. Oh, I already already killed one DD. Yep. And I think oh. I showed my broadside on a moment, and it costed a lot. Yeah. Yeah. There's a slight delay from what you're seeing on the stream. It's about 20 seconds. Nice torpedoes, mm -hmm. though. If we have low latency on, it's only a couple of seconds. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, there we go. There is your death. Yep. Ouch. <laughs> well, the problem that I find with this ship, and I think you discovered it here too, is this, it's not a good ship to be off on your own. Um, you absolutely yeah. need other people to be, like, shooting at other targets. Uh-huh. And as soon as... As soon as those other targets are gone, obviously they're going to focus you. And then you see the result. That's why I just don't like this ship. So I, Ooh, I can't... the shell in the air. Yeah, isn't that kind of neat? I actually somewhat disagree uh -huh. with that. Really? Okay. I found okay. the Drake to be... I found the Drake to be very tanky, but you, uh, only if you know how to angle it correctly. Okay. Like, that super heal will bail you out a lot of times. So if you angle against battleships and have them hit your belt armor, uh, you're not going to get Citadel. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, why then... What what would what would you have recommended Kadu do differently here? Kadu do. <laughs> well, besides... Besides not charging in, mm. there's nothing he can really do to save the match. His CB died, everyone else wanted to die as well. Mm -hmm. So the best you're going to do is just farm damage by just going up the three or one line. Yep. And just carding out the two battleships there. Yep. Okay. So in other words, as soon as everybody else dies in this area, instead of going south into A, turn north and head towards A1. Yep. You have two battleships there. And you have, you should still have your super heals, so you can duck out of concealment if you get shot at too much, wait for your super heal, and then continue farming. 
Right. You can't get about 100, 120k off of this. Right. That would be controlling the engagement, right? Making sure that you are only hitting people when you want them to be able to shoot back at you, right? And if you don't want them to shoot back at you, you have to be quiet, go dark again, all that good stuff. Peace Shooter, thank you very much for the follow. Um, Peace Shooter 3710 is now I basically following. had to choose between showing more broadside to get the torpedoes off or just running, so... Yeah. I don't know if it would have helped if I shot some torps. No. No, not at, not at that range. Uh, not with two battleships. Bone Collector 8300 yeah. is now following. Bone Collector, thank you for the follow. The only time that I would recommend doing something like that is if it's the end of the match and you absolutely need to get a kill to win. Or, mm -hmm. if, they're, if the situation's reversed, if you've got five, 11 Pet kills, Bruce they've only got five, following. and you're winning that hard, by all means, go for it, right? High risk, uh, low, low risk, high reward kind of a deal. But, in that situation, you're, you're far better taking your hit points out of the out of the battle um and then just just shooting things at long range because if let's say let's say you had kited away by now you'd probably be at b1 b2 area and now the montana and the magi have to decide do they go after you or do they go into the middle and let's face it you're gonna lose like sat said i mean there's just too many people dying but uh, at least in a, in a more normal battle, that would force those battleships to have to make a decision. Do they chase after you and waste an awful lot of their time? Or do they, you know, ignore you essentially? And if they ignore you, then you just farm them for days, which is, like SAT said, a great way to do damage. You'll get good XP. You'll still lose, but at least you'll feel like you came away with something. Uh-huh. Got it. Thanks. Sure. Thanks for sending that one in. I'm sorry we couldn't cover the other one, but oh, no you know, problem. It's good to be able to get uh, get some replays in, and, and you've been an awesome supporter. So thanks. I think I still owe you a CC container from the King of the Sea stuff. Sorry, this week is finally uh, off of school and everything, so we'll be good. <laughs>